Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is 14 episode of my devlog documenting affiliate website journey. It's been a few months since I published a last episode and I was really busy with 9 to 5 job and other side projects. So I neglected my affiliate website uh, written in Django a little bit. But now I found a uh, time to make a little bit of progress and I wanted to also try a new video format for this type of journey. In previous episode, I mostly coded in real time and explain it what I did. Whereas now, I would love to try a more of a storytelling format where I will just show you the results instead of my struggles in real time, making mistakes in coding. I will just show you what I have achieved that day. And I think it would be more interesting for you to see just how I'm making progress a little by little every day. It's a beautiful cold Saturday morning on 8th of May and I want to make a little bit of progress uh, with my affiliate website before the launch. So let's start coding. If you remember my last episode, I was exploring how to make a Wagtail homepage and I stood in front of the decision if I want to make a homepage using a Wagtail template or I should do just simple Django homepage instead. The thing is, with Wagtail homepage, you would have some advantages of using the Wagtail models and using their specific database fields such as stream fields, whereas if you develop plain Django template, you would have have to code everything by yourself and you would miss the nice features that Wagtail offers. So after some soul seeking, I came to a resolution that for the homepage, which is basically a static page that just show you the navigation for your website, the best bet would be just to go with simple Django template because I want my homepage to be a parent for all my sub pages that could be Wagtail pages or uh, even uh, the pages that are written in uh, some of the JavaScript frameworks such as Vue or React. I don't know yet. So if I would use the Wagtail homepage, then it would be very difficult to make it as a parent page for other sub pages that are not built on Wagtail. So my next step would be just to build a simple Django homepage, really static one with a basic menu and some placeholder text. Right now, as you can see on the screen, I have just a single text called homepage and it's not even deployed in production yet. So today I would want to make a design, make it nice so people would know that when they visit my web page, then the web page is fully functioning. So let's see how it goes and see you in a bit. So I'm back, it's 15 p.m. and it's really sunny outside. So let me just quickly go through all the progress that I made since morning. When I thought about how to design a homepage, then the first thing that came to my mind is I need to use CSS styles to style and design nice looking homepage. And in the past, I was on the verge of using a bootstrap CSS framework, which works fine out of the box. But this time I wanted to do something more flexible such as Tailwind CSS. I already tried Tailwind CSS in one of my other side projects and it was a breeze to work with. So I decided to choose Tailwind CSS as primary styling framework. And the question was how to integrate Tailwind CSS into Django installation. So I googled Tailwind CSS, put it into the Google and one of the search results pointed me to this uh, library. It's called Django Tailwind. And this library is very useful. And I wanted to give a big thanks to the author of this library, Timon Web, because this library helps a lot with integration of Tailwind to Django installation. Let me tell you how it would work if you wanted to just integrate it by yourself. First, you would have to install Node.js. Second, you would have to initiate the NPM instance in your folder where you hold the application. You have to configure the framework and then you have to auto reload and compile your CSS styles every time you change, add or remove a class in your templates. 
So this is a lot of headache for just the possibility of using classes as components. Thankfully, Timon Web made this Django Tailwind project and installation was really easy. So what do you want to do is to go to documentation website Django Tailwind.readthedocs.io. There you will have the step-by-step -step instructions. So I installed this Django application with pip and install Django Tailwind. And then I add the Tailwind to the list of installed apps. On the third step, I was a little bit confused because it wants me to create a Django app for Tailwind functionality. And I thought that for each application that you want to use Tailwind for, you have to create a new application using the command Tailwind in it. And I thought that if I have a homepage application that already exists and I want to apply Tailwind in this application and its template, I have to create new Django application with the same name. According to instructions, you know, I tried to run a Tailwind init command and it asked you how you would love to name your application. And I entered the name of application where I want to apply the styles, which means homepage. And since I have already a homepage existing in my folder, then I got an error saying that the application already exists. So I was a little bit confused. And it turns out that you don't need to create separate Tailwind applications. The reason why everyone uses Tailwind is you compile only those styles that you use in your templates and nothing more. So in the end, you will have a compact style sheet file with all the styles that you use in your templates. And with the reduced size, you increase the speed of loading of your application. So it made sense to create compiled CSS Tailwind file for each application separately. But apparently, it's not how it works with with Django Tailwind. What the Django Tailwind does is it provides a single point of contact for all the templates in all the applications in your Django installation. If you have multiple applications in your application use Tailwind styles, this library will take all the styles from all the templates from all the applications, gather it together, compile it into a single CSS style that loads every time someone visits your web page. Because in the end, Tailwind injects compiled file into the header, like you see here in the base HTML page. By calling load static tag, you load the URL of static starsheet that was compiled from all the Tailwind cascading sheets. So I lost a lot of time fiddling with my homepage application. I first deleted it, then I initiated Tailwind application with Tailwind init command. I call it homepage, but I realized, hey, the folder does not contain any models, apps, URLs, Python scripts that you usually have within Django applications. Instead, the folder contains apps.py, init.py, the templates folder, and JavaScript configuration files. So it didn't work and I had to redo everything, delete the application that I created, put back my homepage application back to its original place and then call this command pythonmanage.py tailwind init again and this time I listened to the guide so I named the application team chose just in time. When you choose just in time every time you change the CSS style in any of the templates that is defined in the Tailwind configuration, it automatically compiles the CSS style and reloads your browser. It's incredibly helpful. So you don't have to do anything, any command, besides just working on the design, occasionally recreate static files, and that's it. As the next step, you want to add both new applications to list of installed apps, Tailwind and Team. And you register the Team application with the settings, Tailwind's app name equals to Team and put it into settings.py. Underneath, you should also add internal IPs list with your localhost IP address. And finally, you install Tailwind itself by using this command pythonmanage.py tailwind install. And then you can decide if you want to use default base HTML template that comes with installation or you can use your own base HTML and add Tailwind by using those tags load Tailwind tags and Tailwind CSS. 
but since I could not figure out how to extend my base template from homepage HTML to use the base template defined in the team Tailwind application, then um, I opt to use base HTML that I have already defined on the top level of my project inside the templates folder and inside the base html i just add those tags and as final step i had to start the tailwind job that monitors all template folders look up for the changes in the html classes so it can reload and compile all the files for you automatically to do that i had to start a new shell where i just ran command python manage.py tailwind start and every time you change classes in html templates it automatically compile css style for you and save all the stars into static css dist stars.css file and automatically reload the browser for you Unfortunately, when I restarted Unicorn server, I didn't see any styles at all. Even though I used Tailwind tags, it didn't load CSS file. I suspected there might be some configuration in Tailwind that I missed and according to the documentation, there are some configurations you need to edit. I'm talking about purge rules configuration and in this configuration, you should define all the paths to all the HTML templates where you use Tailwind classes. So this is really tedious process because the more templates you use the bigger the list gets and in the end you might have a list of hundreds of html files that use tailwind css styles and the question is by the time how slow the compilation will be anyway according to documentation tailwind can look up templates that are within tailwind application or it can monitor html files in other applications and it will also watch JavaScript files, Python files that might include Tailwind classes, which is really neat. So I thought that you need to add an absolute path to HTML files and I didn't understood how should I edit those paths. It took me a while to realize that when you have two dots here, you should place the name of the application where a template is located. And in the place of the single dot, you will have to put actual name of HTML file. So if all the templates in my homepage applications are located in folder homepage templates homepage, then absolute path would be like this. But the thing is, even though I think I got it right, after restarting Tailwind browser sync, I didn't see my tiles. When I refreshed the page, it was all the same and I got stuck. It was already close to 12. I told myself I might not finish the homepage today, but I'm definitely hungry. It's time to have proper lunch. And so I did and I had a delicious Vietnamese soup called Mien. It's a traditional chicken soup and it gave me energy to uh, later continue forward. So after a lunch break, I was convinced that I have the correct configuration and it hit me that I should look at Chrome inspection and look up if I will see any CSS styles. And when I looked through the HTML body, I saw that the Tailwind correctly injected path to the CSS style sheet. But when I took the URL, put it into the browser, I got an error that file could not be found. And the reason for this is that Django can only display the files that are in the static folders. And I mean not the static folders inside the application, but the main static folder on the project level. And to save all the static files from all the applications into static folder on the top level, you will have to run the command python manage.py collect static no input. What it does is that it looks through all the applications and it looks for static folders. And it takes all the files that you defined in uh, the static files there's setting and save it into main static folder on the top level. And once I restarted the server, visited URL where the style sheet is located, then I could finally saw all my styles that were compiled from the homepage. And about the homepage, I just simply visited the Tailwind CSS page and I copy pasted an example component into the homepage page. I checked that all the styles that I had in the classes were also present in 
the star CSS. And this is the result. It looks just great. And I think that it was the good decision to ditch bootstrap and go with Tailwind because now I can flexibly create any design I want without significantly modify or bloat my star sheet as I would with bootstrap. So in total I today spent 2.5 close to 3 hours dwindling with Tailwind and Django and I am happy with my progress. And since it's 3 p.m. and it's sunny outside I think I'm going out and take a run. So I hope that you like this video. If you do then subscribe, like, comment and see you in the next episode.